turtles are found on every continent except Antarctica. We'll see about that by Todd Sturgill. Turtles are found on every continent except Antarctica. We'll see about that by Todd Sturgill, published by Source Books Explore. This is a turtle. Um, hello there. Turtles are found on every continent except Antarctica. Humph, we'll see about that. They are cold-blooded and cannot survive in a cold, harsh... Hey, where are you going? Antarctica. You can't go to Antarctica. Get back to your page this instant. Bye. Let's forget the turtle and move on. Oh, look, here's an owl. Owls are found on every continent except Antarctica. Hello there, owl. This is a book of animal facts. Here's a fact. Owls don't like to be disturbed by animal facts. Owls rarely pay attention to turtles. Want to come with me to Antarctica? Why, yes, since I'm already awake, I'll join you. Those two will never make it. On to the next animal fact. Dung beetles are found on every continent except Antarctica. Hey, wait, where is the dung beetle? He's with us. Why would a dung beetle travel to Antarctica with a turtle and an owl? Two words, penguin poo. This book is not going as planned. Here we have a snake, a mouse, and a bee. Guess what? They're found on every continent except Antarctica, and it will stay that way. Snakes are known to break the rules. We mice are natural explorers. You can't stop me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Frogs are found on every continent except Antarctica. This one won't be distracted by a wandering group of rogue animals. Ignore them, frog! Oh, look, new friends! A turtle, owl, dung beetle, snake, mouse, bee, and frog would never travel together on an expedition to the frozen continent. And they certainly couldn't cross an ocean to get there. No boat, no Antarctica. Now, can we please get back to normal? I've got this. This is ridiculous. Pay no attention to these scoundrels. Turtles, owls, dung beetles, snakes, mice, bees, and frogs are still found on every continent except Antarctica. We made it! Look at those strange penguins. The coldest temperature 
ever recorded on Earth was in Antarctica, negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 89.2 degrees Celsius to be exact. Animals not accustomed to the howling wind and bitter cold air will find Antarctica unbearable. It is a bit c c c colder than I expected. There's nothing but ice, snow, and rock. The birds swim here? I can't swim. My dung is frozen. Let's go home. Ha! Like I said, the Antarctic climate is too extreme for these animals. Whew! I'm glad that's over. As long as we're here, let's talk about Emperor Penguins. Emperor Penguins are found only in Antarctica. Oh, really? Oh, no. Not again. Wait for me! Turtle. Turtles are identifiable by their distinctive shell. There are more than 356 turtle species. Turtles have been around since the time of the dinosaurs. The oldest turtle in the world was a 255-year-old tortoise named Adweda. Dung beetle. Dung beetles navigate using the Milky Way. Some dung beetle species roll dung away, others tunnel underneath, and some just live inside the dung pile. Dung beetles fly, but not with their dung. Adult dung beetles don't eat dung. They just suck the moisture out of it. Mmm, dung juice. Owl. Owls fly silently to sneak up on their prey. Owls don't poop. They eat their prey whole and barf up the undigested parts. Burrowing owls love to eat dung beetles. Uh-oh. Owls can turn their heads almost all the way around. Snake. Snakes can eat prey bigger than their heads. Snakes smell with their tongues. Snakes do not have external ears for hearing. Pythons are constrictor snakes with 80 teeth but no fangs. Mouse. A mouse's tail can grow longer than its body. Mice eat 15 to 20 times a day. Mice can squeeze through dime-sized holes. Mouse communicate through odor, body language, and sound. Bee. Bees harvest nectar from flowers to make honey. Bees dance to show the hive where to find food. Bees have a favorite color, blue. Bees create their own air conditioning by fanning the hive with their wings. Frog. Frogs have long back legs to help them leap. Male Darwin frogs swallow their tadpoles and later cough up little frogs. Frogs drink water through their skin. Frogs were the first land animals with vocal cords. More animal facts. There are many kinds of animals that are found all over the world. Bats 
take to the night skies around the globe, you'll find hawks soaring through the skies above many countries. Spiders spin from north to south. Lizards crawl from east to west. And pigeons peck crumbs from Australia to Alaska. But there's one place where you won't find any of these animals. One place too cold for spinning webs and lurking lizards. That's right, you'll find bats, hawks, spiders, lizards, and pigeons on every continent except Antarctica. Emperor Penguin You won't find emperor penguins on any continent except Antarctica. Emperor penguins are the largest of all penguins. Female emperor penguins lay one egg per year, which the male keeps balanced on top of its feet to keep it warm. Animals of Antarctica There are a surprising number of animal species that do call Antarctica and the surrounding waters home. The only native mammals you'll find on Antarctica shores are seals. But you'll find whales, dolphins, and porpoises swimming in the southern ocean. Of the 18 species of penguin, only 7 species live in Antarctica. Adelaide, Chinstrap, Emperor, Gentoo, King, Macaroni, and Southern Rockhopper. Antarctica is also home to a wide range of seabirds including albatrosses, petrels, gulls, and cormorants. Brr, the frozen continent. Antarctica is very cold. In fact, it's freezing. That's why maps of Antarctica are mostly white. The land is almost completely covered in ice and snow. Antarctica is home to massive ice shelves, towering mountains, and a vast flat plateau. It covers the South Pole and is surrounded by stormy oceans. And even though it is extremely cold, Antarctica is also the world's largest desert because it gets the smallest amount of precipitation, rain or snow every year. A continent for science. People have been visiting and studying Antarctica for many years, but no country can claim part of Antarctica as its own, though many countries have scientific bases there. The Antarctic Treaty Agreement set aside the entire continent as a scientific preserve. The treaty bans military activity and establishes freedom of scientific investigation. The treaty was signed in 1959 and entered into force on June 23, 1961. Climate change. When weather changes over a very long period of time, it's called climate change. Scientists study climate change to figure out what causes it and whether or not we should do something about it. Antarctica is still cold, but it's not as cold as it used to be. In fact, parts of Antarctica, where a lot of animals live, is starting to melt a little bit at a time. Right now, scientists have observed that the world is getting warmer due to climate change and have discovered that some of the ways people create energy have caused the problem. This is called global warming. Who turned up the heat? When the world gets warmer, animals that are used to living in the cold have to work harder to find food and raise their young. When the ice melts, it goes into the oceans 
and the oceans can rise. People who live near the water don't want the water to rise up to their homes. This may seem scary, but there's good news. Scientists and leaders all over the world are working to fix the problem, and they've come up with solutions that will help. They are creating energy that doesn't make the world hotter. We call this clean energy. You can help too. People just like you can help too by looking for ways to make the world a better place for people, animals, and plants that live and grow where you do. Planting trees or starting a vegetable garden can help clean the air. Recycling reduces waste. Turning off the lights when you leave a room saves energy. Parents and teachers can help you find even more ideas, so ask them to help you find ways to reduce, reuse, and recycle. There are so many ways people working to fix the effects of climate change that I'm sure when you decide to visit Antarctica, like Turtle did, you'll find it's still a perfect place for penguins.